These two supplements destroy spike protein. This is Elliot from EO Nutrition, and it's just a quick one today, folks. So there's a, an older study floating around Twitter at the moment, and it's looking at two natural supplements which were shown to completely inactivate spike protein. Now, this might not be news to many, and it has been around a couple of years, but we're going to look at exactly what those are. So quickly, just for those who don't know, spike protein is the component of the virus, which is now known to be the main driver of inflammation. Now, spike is also the protein which the body gets instructed to make copious amounts of when they get shot with the thing. And you know what I'm talking about. And exactly how long the body makes spike protein for after being shot with the thing? Well, no one really knows, but it seems to be a long time. And as you probably already know, spike protein is thought to be one of the main things responsible for triggering many of the adverse events associated with the thing, ranging from thickening of the blood, vascular inflammation, neuroinflammation, and other cardiac events. Spike protein sticking around the body for a long period of time is also thought to drive long haul syndrome, which even a few years on, many people are still dealing with whether they got the thing or not. Therefore, finding ways to get rid of, inactivate, or destroy spike protein could potentially be super helpful in anyone suffering long-term adverse events. And that brings us to this study circulating on Twitter, which is titled, The Combination of Bromelain and Acetylcysteine Synergistically Inactivates SARS-CoV-2. For those unaware, bromelain is an enzyme found in pineapple, and NAC is an amino acid, both of which can be obtained in supplemental form. Looking at exactly what this paper said, recombinant spike and envelope SARS-CoV-2 proteins were disrupted by brom acetylcysteine. SARS-CoV-2 demonstrated a concentration-dependent inactivation from this treatment, but not from single agents alone. So essentially what they found was that this combination could degrade and inactivate spike protein, which is responsible for triggering systemic inflammation and causing many adverse events. Now this is frankly huge because this might help to explain why many people with long haul syndrome also find benefits from these supplements. Now since this was an in vitro study, I don't know how this would translate in terms of dosages, but common dosages uh, for NAC range from 600 to 1,800 milligrams, and bromelain can be used or has been used in the viral disease, and this is 500 milligrams per day. As it happens, there is another natural agent which can also degrade spike protein. This is a different enzyme produced by certain bacteria known as natokinase. A recent study in the summer of 2022 was titled Degradative Effects of natokinase on spike protein of SARS-CoV-2. They go on to say, in this study, we examined the effect of natokinase on the spike protein of this virus. The spike protein was degraded in a dose and time dependent manner. Thus, our findings suggest that natokinase exhibits potential for the inhibition of SARS-CoV-2 infection via spike protein degradation. Now, although the study was looking this in the context of infection, it might also be super useful for anyone with long haul or adverse events from the thing. It turns out natokinase is a super useful proteolytic enzyme, which can also prevent clotting and vascular complications and has been used for lots of other kinds of problems. As for the dose of natokinase, I'm not sure exactly how much one would need. There's lots of different do doses available. What I do know is that there's many practitioners using this for long haul syndrome. What's also important is using an enteric form because it can be destroyed by the stomach acid. So to round up, if I personally had the thing, I would certainly be looking to take these three supplements. Now, it's not necessarily going to stop the body from making spike protein, but it might potentially help the body to get rid of it, to destroy it, to inactivate it, and to reduce its detrimental effects. So that's all for today. If you like this video, you found it helpful, please like and share it far and wide, and see you next time.